Okay, what I want to talk about with this number stuff is just definition based. Now, if you want to really learn these definitions and whatnot, great. Again, this is a relatively infrequent topic. Um, they're also good Markov questions. So if you can remember one or two things, and I'll try to highlight them in this video and practice it a little bit, I don't think you'll need to agonize over all this information I'm going to dump on you. First things first, this is the first trick you got to know. All numbers are complex numbers. All numbers. I can write any number. A complex number said the form a plus bi. i is the square root of negative 1. Right? Um, check out the complex numbers video and material for, for more on that. But even like the lowly number 2, right? I could say that this is 2 plus 0 times i. All numbers are complex numbers. Number one trick in the book as far as the AT, ACT is concerned on this. Second, we split complex numbers into the real numbers, which have basically no visible I, right? There's a zero in front of the I. And imaginary numbers, things that have an I, two plus I. So it'd be like two. Irrational numbers are numbers that cannot be expressed as a ratio. Ratios are fractions. A fraction of two integers. What are irrational numbers? Things like pi square root of 2, square root of 3, so on and so forth. Rational numbers are the numbers that we use most, right? 1, 2, negative 36, 1 half, 3 eighths, 0 0.00000073, whatever. Rational numbers are broken into fractional numbers, so anything that's not an integer, right? 1 half, negative... 111 over 73, and then integers. Those are our whole numbers from negative infinity to positive infinity. 0, negative 27, positive 63, and everything else. Our natural numbers, trick number two. Natural numbers are only positive integers. 0 is not a natural number. In fact, zero is a, uh, something that mathematicians made up, I think, in Greece a long time ago. Well, I know it was a long time ago, but I think it was Greek mathematicians. So only positive integers. Those are the tricks. Biggest trick in the book, complex numbers. Everything's a complex number. Second biggest trick, eh, it was, it's like this. It's, it's pretty big disparity, right? But this natural number thing. If A is rational, which must be false... So whenever I have a logical operator question, I flip it, right? Must be false. Must be turns to could be. And false turns to true. Could be true. A is a complex number. All numbers are complex numbers. That actually must be true. Remember, it only has to could be true, right? A is an integer. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, it could be, right? Integers are a subset of rational numbers. It doesn't have to be true. So as long as it can branch back this way, I'm okay. A is a natural number. Okay, well, yeah, sure. So integers are subsets of, or natural numbers are subsets of integers. Subsets are rational numbers. That's, that's fine. Could be true. A is a fraction. Sure, right? Fractions are rational numbers. When squared, A is a negative number. Okay, whoa. Kind of need a little bit of knowledge of i, right? The reason i exists is because we can't have real number square roots and negative numbers. If I wanted to take the square root of negative 4, well, it's not negative 2 times negative 2 because that's 4. No, it's not 2 times 2. So that's why I, I would get it something like 2i, right? So there you go. If, it, if when you square it, it's a negative number, then it's an imaginary number. So what must be false? Well, that's got to be false because it can't be true. How did I really do that problem? I worked through it. I was looking to prove answers wrong, not prove them right. With logical operator questions, it's much easier to prove the opposite than it is what's given. Okay, that's really all there is on this. Again, not a huge topic. Um, it's a nice little one to have in the bank if you want, but check out the book. There's things on prime numbers and stuff like that that I'm not going into. Not really question types on those so much as they can really kind of bolster you and other stuff.